Steve Kim here. So excited. Steve Kim Show episode number 172. For today's Steve Kim Show, we're going to talk a little bit about mortgages. But before we get started, I do want to let you know I'm not a mortgage agent. I'm not a mortgage broker. I'm going to give you some surface level information with regards to questions I keep getting asked. If you're looking for more in-depth answers, we have some great mortgage agents that we would love to refer you to. So the questions I keep getting asked, Steve, what kind of a credit score do I need to get a favorable mortgage? And what are some of the other factors at play when trying to get qualified? qualified for a mortgage. So number one, what's the minimum credit score that's required to get a mortgage in Ontario? It's around 640 is the score that you're looking for. Could you get a favorable mortgage with a credit score less than 640, let's say 620? Absolutely. There are other factors that come into play. Number one being, what's your income? How high of an income do you have? What's your current debt load right now? These are some of the factors at play when mortgage brokers look at your portfolio. There's two other ratios that are really, really important that, that all mortgage professionals look for. The GDS, stands for the gross debt service ratio and the TDS, which is the total debt service ratio. Now let's talk a little bit about GDS. What is GDS and what are the factors at play here? Now gross debt service ratio includes the following. Number one, potential mortgage payments. Number two, potential property taxes. Number three, potential cost of heating and other utilities. Number four, 50% of condominium fees. Again, if you're buying a condo instead of a house. Now the GDS is the percentage of your monthly household income that covers your housing costs and it must not exceed 39%. Will they maybe bend the rules on this 39%? It's going to depend on the lending institution that you go with. Now the second ratio they look at is total debt service ratio and this includes the following. Number one, credit card payments. Number two, if you have car payments. Number three, any lines of credit that you have. Number four, spousal or child support payments. Number five, and if you have any student loans. And number six, any other debt that you're carrying. The TDS is the percentage of your monthly household income that covers your housing costs and any other debts, and this must not exceed 44%. Again, could you find a lending institution that might bend the 44%? And again, that's gonna be dependent on the lending institution or mortgage broker that you choose. Anyways, I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, be kind, everyone. Take care.